Hello and welcome to the AI series of SaaS Leaders Lounge, your premier podcast for tech insights hosted by Ramon. Today we're featuring Heo Sheng, the founder of Chat Simple and an ex Cresta and Google innovator. In our episode, Transforming Customer Conversations, Heo's expertise in chatbots, automation, and conversational AI is revolutionizing B2B customer interactions. With a background from the University of Toronto to leading roles in the tech industry, Heo is setting a new standard for conversational AI. Join us as we dive deep into how Heo and Chat Simple are changing the way businesses communicate. It's great to have you today. How are you doing, Heo? I'm doing great. How about you? Yeah, I'm doing fine. I can't complain at all, to be honest. Um, it's been a busy period, but busy uh, means great things are happening. Where are you located at the moment? I am right now in Palo Alto, um, right at the heart of Silicon Valley. Brilliant. It's a great place to be to get kind of dive in that tech environment. So to dive straight into it, what steps slash experience led you to becoming a founder and how have you seen things change since your career began? Absolutely. Um, so my career really starts uh, back in university when I was still a third year student. Uh, we have a year cool. of called professional experience here at the University of Toronto, where a year normally people spend on uh, working at a company uh, for 12 to 16 months. However, I decided to spend that 12 to 16 months diving into the world of entrepreneurship. Um, so I joined uh, a, the program accelerator in Canada called Next AI, uh, where I started yeah. my journey in entrepreneurship. Uh, the first company we created uh, was in the space of um, chat uh, chatbots for uh, like insurance agencies, um, and yeah. uh, we've been trying to uh, do innovation on the side of claim insurance claim. Uh, that was seven years ago. Uh, we I started discover the power of conversational AI and, and the implication yeah. of that in the business world. So that leads me to uh, uh, joining uh, the. Uh, Google afterwards and the Cresta. We can talk a bit more later. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, it seems like you stayed around the same area. I think that inspiration has stayed with you. So, for those not yet familiar with Chat Simple, could you describe the specific need or void in the market that your business aims to address? So, at Chat Simple, we are building a self serve platform. Think, think it like a Shopify for your B2B business uh, to get AI agent for inbound sales. Uh, inbound sales meaning people mm. who come to you, people who come to your website, people who yeah. uh, maybe m message you uh, on different social media platforms. Uh, so we are helping business, B two B business, to get their uh, AI agent. Um, yeah. So the again that starts from uh, starts from uh, last year uh, May when that's where yeah. when we get started. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, excellent. I've definitely followed your story, I must say, and also looked into what your company's doing. It's definitely revolutionizing the conversational AI industry. Are you able to share the latest innovation or feature Chat Simple has introduced to enhance customer experience? Yeah, for sure. Um, thanks for the question. We are actually launching something new. So the biggest pain point of many B2B business, they have a very nicely built website. And uh, yeah. they have hundreds of blogs, dozens of product, which no one actually sure. look at. Um, the blog are very deep in the blog section, and uh, the case study are also very deep in the case study section. Like if you look at, yeah. if they they have internal data, like the the read, uh, how many reads for each blog, uh, and how many yeah. uh, how many uh, people come to the website actually get educated, uh, that is low. So. The new Navi we are pushing out is a website navigator that can uh, use conversational AI to navigate the user uh, to different parts of the website and uh, to answer the get the uh, get the question answered. Because people who come to B two B website, they are not looking for a lecture; they are looking for an answer. They are looking to solve their pain sure. point in their business. So uh, by having a conversational interface or search interface we leverage it uh for uh for every single uh, we can leverage that for every single visitor come to your website 
think it's like a best sales, have the best sales to be alongside with every visitor to your website. So we are building that yeah. um, uh, and have you leveraging the capability of uh, LLM so far. Brilliant. I think that's exceptional. I could definitely see how kind of that innovation can position you in a competitive landscape. Um, but in terms of how Chat Simple is leveraging AI to improve conversational experiences between businesses and their customers, are you able to share more light on that also? Yeah. Um, so part of it, it's the uh, newly innovation from uh, from uh, ChatGPT and uh, um, LLM. So right now, what's the fundamental difference between the current AI and the first generation AI? Um, so I was working at Google, um, and in 2019 uh, to 2021, uh, I was yeah. on a team called uh, Dialogflow. So before ChatGPT, people actually know, you know, you tried the chatbot before, the chatbot doesn't really yeah. understand. All we do is to detect an, an intent and uh, what you say and classify it in 10, 20 different categories and understand like have a decision tree built out to uh, to have you down the funnel uh, that that obviously didn't work like the the c containment rate was low containment rate means yeah. like how many people actually coming back for help for human help the containment rate is low and the people just don't like it like like you go to yeah. the website i almost never heard people oh hi i love interaction with chatbot before chat gpt times so what's the biggest difference between nowadays and back in 2019 is we have a bot that actually understands you. That's one. The second one is it can actually summarize or you can provide a large context and then it can summarize the context. So in a conversational way and get back to you. So that kind of yeah. interface unlock lots of possibilities to uh, leveraging the power of AI because conversation is the most natural way human communicates. It's true. Yeah, I agree. And it's fascinating to see how AI can be so effectively used to bridge the communication gap between businesses and their customers in a more effective way. I think Chat Simple's approach seems to be setting a new standard for the industry, um, I must say. But um, are you able to describe a breakthrough moment where AI significantly improved the Chat Simple service or feature? Yeah. Um, so we were doing, um, we, were, we were not doing a uh, rag based uh, model, rag uh, yeah. retrieval based model. We were uh, trying to extract the business contacts in a small window. So after yeah. we adopt a rag uh, uh, model uh, where we retrieve the most relevant contacts, our uh, AI performance actually improved a lot compared to pre rag and we see a, a very good uh, conversion uptick uh, from from our funnel. So I would say that was the moment we realized, okay, we need to deep uh, dive deeper into the how yeah. we use, leverage this new technology, uh, the new thing that come up after ChatGPT to improve our customer accuracy of our AI and then improve our customer uh, bet to provide a better better customer journey. Yeah. That's inspiring, I must say, to hear how Chat Simple through that kind of rag intervention kind of navigated this breakthrough. It kind of showcased the potential of AI in solving real world problems. And um, for businesses new to AI, what's the first step you recommend for integrating AI like Chat Simple into their operations? So, first, I, I think it's a, a question of uh, whether um, the business is thinking forward, like in in two years, three years, where AI is approaching human level in many of the tasks. Mm -hmm. um, right now, it's already approaching human level in, in conversations, uh, in many sure. medical diagnoses. So, so when AI is approaching human in the task of customer support, sales, um, what would happen to your business? If, if, you, uh, if you say there's nothing too different, I, I think, uh, maybe the, the business is not suitable for for AI uh, to to adopt AI. But if you say, yeah. "Oh, that actually will have a big cost 
effect, we can reduce lots of cost. We can provide a better customer su support, uh, customer also better sales experience. Then AI might be for your business. So a particular one is like uh, software businesses. Software businesses, yeah. uh, lots of software are self-serve, but w require some learning curve. Um, we're mm -hmm. normally how we fill the gap is have very comprehensive uh, docs and the salesperson, customer success manager to lead them okay. through every step of the way. So with yeah. AI, we can actually bridge that and you can have infinite amount of availability from AI to, to onboard you to help you with anything you have, any question you have with the business. Um, so that would be the uh, one of the biggest innovation there, like a co-pilot. You already see so many co-pilots. Yeah. Co uh, Microsoft true. pushing out so many co-pilots. Google also have many co-pilots in their Gmail, um, in, their, in their search. So, so you will start seeing more and more of these co-pilots. Uh, the fundamental thing is the availability. So normally yeah. you can only offer to the top, top 1% of people like your time. Imagine you have a hundred copy of you serving every single one. So the availability of the intelligence, uh, availability of the customer support and care you can give to a customer uh, with AI would multiply by infinite amount of time, uh, in infinite amount of uh, multiples. So you can give the best care for, for everyone. Yeah. I completely agree with you on that. I think such a strategic approach can really demystify the process and definitely lay a solid foundation for success if implemented correctly. And um, looking ahead to the future, where do you see AI and business communication heading in the next five years? That's a very good question. Um, in five years, it's a lot going on. Like if we look back five years, 2018. So no one actually cared that much about AI. Like no yeah. no company has a chief ai officer so everyone treat ai as like oh some something in the future that may happen may not yeah right but but now you look five years back like you, we have fantastic image generation uh we have video generation um we yes. have the LLM, voice. Uh, that's voice uh, like video calls phone calls um, all these start to to become reality so it's hard to predict what in five years from now what would happen. In general, like AI is getting cheaper, better, and faster. So if we think along this line of business communication and uh, how yeah. how in five years that would uh, with a better, cheaper, uh, faster AI, uh, I think lots of the business communication will be automated between between two parties. Yeah. Um, it can be, uh, it can be a company between the company and the customer. Uh, the company has certain value, and give, give AI uh, some authority, some some ability to do things on its behalf. Then mm. that uh, that can be automated to a large part. If it's B two B business, it's uh, you are talking to another business. Um, lots of the communication like email, and uh, and the uh, a voice, even voice, will be generated by AI. So you, because AI have a good background on your company, AI can make some suggestions. So it will no longer be like sure. you, uh, you have to tell every detail, communicate uh, every detail, AI will make some small uh, autonomous decision for you, or they can present, AI can present you with five different options to reply to an email, you just pick the one that you feel like is the best for, for your business and make your decision there. Uh, so it, we will work much faster and the communication will be uh, much more seamless. Definitely, yeah. I agree with myself. I like the last um, thing you mentioned as well, still having that human interaction, being able to pick kind of your responses. Because I guess when businesses are able to kind of conversate with another business through an AI and that's when the future definitely gets a bit scary but to stay on the happy side are you able to share a humorous or unexpected moment encountered while developing or deploying chat simples AI yeah so I think um, it's the first month 
when we start deploying Chessimple. Like uh, we always had this mm -hmm. vision for B two B business, but my background has been software engineer uh, for the past yeah. six years. Um, so I have no idea how to do marketing. So the first month of mm -hmm. Chessimple is a uh, pretty pretty bad. Like we we don't have much sign up. Like people sign up don't know how to use the tool. Uh, yeah. And fundamentally, there there are just not enough people know Chessimple. Like so at that time it was I was like oh what happened? Like I was trying to figure out why people are not coming because in my mind it's yeah. I launched Chessimple people will all come, but that's obviously not true if you don't do any it's marketing true. don't do any uh self promotions who will come to your website so at the time we we're thinking oh if it this doesn't work maybe we sell to student at the time i'm working with uh, a few students from university of waterloo i'm going uh, well you buy it or you student uh well a computer science student they have a website well you put chess and pull on your website so that's wrong on multiple level one is um a student doesn't have paying powers and the student also don't care <laughs> yeah. have a very low website traffic that they don't need to automate that. but we brainstorm lots of ideas how to save us but actually what we were lacking of was like the ability to or have the channel to distribute the chess and pull. uh so that was the that was the very interesting and the very the hardest moment like we had uh, turns out yeah. to be the hardest like because <laughs> we have no validation from the market no validation from anyone like say you build a product that's valuable uh, yeah. but looking back it's funny like when we start thinking about other ways like um, we were shooting for the wrong target like where we should double down on the marketing we double down on like, how do we pivot to another idea yeah no, I completely understand. They say the first year or the first season or the first kind of um, experience is definitely always the hardest when it's something new. So I think just getting through that first stage, um, you've gained so much skills, probably more than you've gained throughout most of your career in just that short little time of starting the business. So I think, yeah, there's definitely benefits to take out of it. And it's definitely good to laugh back at those moments as well. Then as we start to wrap up this insightful conversation, I thought we could have a bit of fun and dive into a different kind of exploration. We've talked about AI, innovation, and the journey of Chat Simple. It would be great to get a glimpse into the person behind the vision, yourself. Heyo, so are you ready for a quick fire round to reveal some of your preferences that make you, you? Uh, absolutely, uh, I'm ready. <laughs> Brilliant. So would you prefer to be a world-class chef or a world-class painter? World-class chef for a world-class... Yeah, class chef or a world-class painter. Painter. I will be a chef because uh, I like food. I like, I enjoy uh, good food. So so I will be yeah. a chef and I can cook for myself. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> would you prefer to go to any theme park or any national park? Mm, I would say national park because uh, I love nature. Um, yeah. I, of course, I like uh, man-made uh, man-made objects, but I think I think if you give me a chance, uh, I would rather go to every national park. I agree. I agree definitely. Um, we kind of touched on this question after it involves cooking, but would you prefer to have a personal chef or a personal trainer? Uh, that's an interesting question. Um, I think I still prefer a personal chef uh, that can cook me anything <laughs> I, I wanted to eat. Uh, yeah, today could be a lobster, tomorrow could be uh, some ri rice noodle. Uh, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, next day could be a Wagyu steak. You never know. <laughs> Brilliant. That's if you're into meat. But, um, would you prefer to be able to breathe underwater or have the agility of a cat? That's interesting. I actually do scuba diving uh, uh, and uh, kind of breathe underwater. Um, and uh, I think you can get that ability by uh, have some gears, right? Um, uh, and with the oxygen tank, you can do that. 
but have the agility of a cat, that's pretty hard. So I would prefer that. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Me too as well. I'm a, a cat person rather than a dog person. So I think, yeah, I understand um, how that's something um, brilliant or remarkable to have. But um, would you prefer to have a photographic memory or be able to forget anything you want? That's a hard one. Um, <laughs> both are very valuable, uh, but I would prefer a photographic memory. Um, so far, I think not much thing I want to forget, um, but there are lots of things I, in my life I want to always remember. So, yeah. That's true. I like the answer, definitely. And last question, would you prefer to be an expert in one field or knowledgeable in many? Mm, I, I guess you can tell. Um, I've been working on in the conversational AI for past six years, where yeah. not many people know conversational AI. So, so that determination is from very early, uh, probably 10 years ago, where I decide my I, I want a career in uh in in ai space so i i would choose expert in one field versus knowledgeable on everyone er, everything yeah. brilliant brilliant they say that's the best way to start to master one thing first and then moving on to different things so i think you're correct in that answer and it's definitely showing them the results or following that kind of strategy as well in terms of how you become the founder of chat simple but overall that was some fun and very insightful questions um as to the question from a previous guest is something we do throughout sas leaders lounge if you had a billion dollars what company would you invest in that's a very interesting question um I think fundamentally AI can bring lots of care and uh, yeah. can bring eventually relationship to the world. Um, and uh, if I have a billion dollar, I think I want to solve the uh, solve a problem loneliness uh, in in, in yeah. Um So I would probably pick something that uh, solve the loneliness using AI um, and have you can have a company anytime. Uh, when you feel lonely, uh, I in, sure. in a world without loneliness, that would be awesome. Uh, yeah, so I agree. that's where I would invest a billion dollar in. That's a beautiful answer, I must say, a very beautiful one. And I've, I've asked several other people, and they've said things like they'll invest it in themselves or in their own company. But I think being able to actually look at the world and give back um, naturally, it shows a lot about your character as well, I must say. In terms of your question for the next guest, it's going to go to a gentleman called Kevin Barragona. He's the founder of a company called Deep AI. What question would you like me to ask Kevin in the next episode? Right. Oh, okay. That's a, actually, what's the, I guess, what's the goal of having conversational AI? How does that, uh, how does that solve uh, his perspective on how does that solve loneliness? Okay, brilliant. <laughs> I'll definitely um, ask that question to Kevin. Uh, please stay tuned as well to hear that answer. I'm sure that will be a very interesting one to find out. But before we bring our conversation to a close, I want to give you an opportunity to share with our listeners where they can find more about you, your work, and Chat Simple. Where should they go to dive deeper? Yeah, absolutely. You can go to chatsimple.ai uh, to check out our uh, our fantastic conversational platform. Uh, and uh, for me, like you can find me on LinkedIn, Haoshan, uh, and and the, maybe you can search me. And uh, I, I think uh, that that will be how you can connect with me. Uh, Brilliant. Thank you for that information. I'll be sure to include everything you just mentioned in the description in the YouTube link. But yeah, I encourage everyone to go and check out Heyo's incredible work and innovative solutions Chat Simple is bringing to the AI space. It's truly inspiring to see the impact you're making. And with that, we've come to the end of today's episode of SAS Leaders Lounge. Heyo, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your journey, insights, and the exciting developments at Chat Simple. It's been an absolute pleasure. To our listeners, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to SAS Leaders Lounge on your favorite podcast platform to stay updated on our AI series and much more. We have a lineup of amazing guests just like Heo, and you won't want to miss out on the wisdom they have. Thank you very much today, Heo. Take care. Thank you, Rowan. Care.